This is Ezra with another album review. Uh, I'm here to review Mastodon's The Hunter. Uh, I'm going to make this real quick. Um, I'm a huge fan of Mastodon. I loved Remission. I thought um, it was groundbreaking with the drums of Bron Daler, the guitar work of Brent Hines, and Bill Keller, and uh, the vocals of Brent Hines and bassist Troy Saunders. Um, kind of groundbreaking in a way where on the same level as Dillinger Escape Plan or as progressive as maybe Bashuga. <coughs> but, uh, and again, I loved their uh, following release, uh, which was Leviathan, had kind of a Moby Dick slash water kind of god kind of theme. Um, but I think a metal masterpiece would be the right way to describe that. Um, I think uh, it was groundbreaking and uh, for its time, around 2004, that it, uh, um, it actually influenced a huge movement, uh, especially in the southern states of Eastern America, um, and also kind of influenced uh, some of the more uh, established bands in metal to kind of become more, like, actually trust into their talents. And then uh, in 2006, they released Blood Mountain, which is definitely one of my favorite albums. I didn't think they could top Leviathan, but Blood Mountain was an absolute masterpiece. Um, the guitar work, the drums, uh, the vocals, uh, just in every way was better. Um, Thematically, wasn't really uh, on par, but um, because it wasn't as traditional, but uh, at the same time, musically was far superior. And then uh, you go into Crack the Sky, which definitely was uh, groundbreaking for them commercially. I think it brought them to a larger audience and uh, featured uh, kind of a more commercial style. Um, and it started featuring Braun Daler, their drummer, uh, on vocals, uh, who probably is their best singer. Um, and, but also, it also featured Brent Hines as more of a song um, writer, or a sculpt actually a sculpture of songs. Um, Brent Hines really is a talent when it comes to that kind of thing. He is, uh, uh, some of those songs are just ridiculous uh, as far as uh, the levels of uh, complexity and um, what, he, what he has to achieve as a guitar player and sing at the same time, really, uh, it's impressive. But, um, so there was really high, um, there was really high hopes for The Hunter. Uh, it was released finally um, at the end of October in 2011. And to me, uh, as a big fan of progressive metal, mm -hmm. uh, I was kind of disappointed with the... Uh, it was as an album was kind of choppy. It did not flow so much as an album as much as their their previous releases. Uh, again, their previous releases were conceptual and ha had a flow um, which is basically their forte. So I think um, that they kind of got lost in their, in their songwriting um, without that uh, kind of format. Uh, the song structures are pretty good. Um, the drums are fantastic. Some of the guitar work is really good. The vocals are much improved. But as far as an album, it's 
there's kind of a lot to be forgotten. Um, and this is disappointing to me as a huge Mastodon fan. Uh, I wanted to see a little bit more, um, again, as a, a fan of progressive music, like I wanted to see what the next level of Mastodon was, not a kind of, this to me is kind of a candy-coated, um, hello, this we're Mastodon and uh, welcome to our world, um, top 40 billboard kind of introduction. And, you know, they were nominated for a Grammy, and God bless them, I, I'm happy for them, but, you know, it didn't really please me as a fan. Um, uh, the, as far as the songs were, would go, uh, there's probably three or four songs I would really point out. Um, the first song um, was really good. Uh, there is uh, The Octopus Has No Friends and a couple other ones that, you know, that's the thing about the record is not the re really that memorable. Like, if you asked me about Leviathan, I could tell you about Megalodon, and and you asked me about Blood Mountain, I could say um, Capillary and Crest. But you asked me about the Hunter, and you know what? It, nothing really sticks out that much. So I'd give that album, even though it's good, there's some good stuff with it, but uh, I'd probably give it like a seven. So. Um, I'm going to end this right now and say Mastodon for the Hunter. I'm going to give it a 7. 6.57 out of 10. And I'm going to hope that uh, maybe something conceptual will come from them in the near future. This is Ezra. I'm peacing out.